Hey YouTube, what's up? It's uh, Jesse here with Jesse's World, and it's uh, Tuesday, July 20th, and it's about 11 o'clock in the morning. Um, I'm out and about doing some stuff, and I uh, thought of a video that I wanted to shoot, um, and it's things you may not know about your 2008 Chrysler Sebring. Um, mine, like I said, it's an 08. Um, it needs to be washed right now, but I have the... The Sebring All Wheel Drive Limited. And one of the things that I thought was pretty cool that um, I didn't know for the first like year that I had this car, I've had it like three and a half years now, is this is the key for it. And if you press the unlock button twice, and the second time you press it, you hold the unlock button, watch what happens. Yeah, check that out. The two front windows roll down. And I'm not going to show you the inside of the car because it's kind of dirty right now. Um, but some of the other things that are pretty cool is this one came with a, uh, a Boston Premium Audio. And... Uh, it's got the touch screen here. Unit, this unit does not have Bluetooth, um, so I have this. Um, it's actually worked pretty good. I got it for three dollars at the Dollar Tree, or not Dollar Tree, at uh, at Ollie's, and it's an extreme Bluetooth receiver with microphone. And um, so I just plugged it into the AUX, and then I power the um, receiver by this little tiny USB cord that came with it and anytime I want to listen to music off my phone I just turn that on and it automatically connects to my phone um, but this unit has the um, DVD option uh, so you can it's got the flip down screen and you know it's got the DVD and everything so I could be watching a movie right now if I wanted to but um, I'm not gonna do that and then all the presets and everything is pretty cool um, I like the head unit it works good for this car I've never really had any issues with it um, but what I really wanted to show you is over here um, in the display area uh, currently I get 23.2 miles per gallon um, and I haven't reset that in a while so that's city and um, highway driving and uh, if over here on this side you have these are your menu buttons um, the step is the main one um, up is to change your menus around to the different settings and then the step down button is the one that goes into the menu once you get to it so I'm gonna press the top button and go into personal settings press the step so you got your language and you got English um, auto unlock on exit so what that means is whenever you get out of the car um, the two front doors whenever you pull the handle to open them it automatically unlocks the car um, so you can get out um, I'm not sure okay that's for the remote, uh, whenever you press the button to unlock the door, the driver's door unlocks on the first press. Um, if you go, oops, sorry, go back up here. Uh, try that again. Personal settings. Okay, so the reset button, there I changed it to all doors. Or just driver door so the uh, the other button that's over here the reset button is the one that actually changes the settings for what you want so we're, we're gonna step through these menus okay so sound horn with lock so whenever you lock the car doors it will sound the horn flash lamp with lock I have that turned on too it will um, flash your headlights whenever you lock the door. 
Uh, you can change the headlight off delay. We got 30 seconds, 60 seconds, 90 seconds, or nothing. So whenever you get out of the car, uh, it will stay, the headlights will basically stay on for whichever, you know, 30, 60, or 90 seconds, whichever you determine. Um, so that you, you know, you have like light to get into your house or something like that, which comes in real handy for me. Um, a headlamp with wipers. So whenever I turn the windshield wipers on, the um, headlights come on. And that's, I, I like, or I mean, yeah, yeah. Headlights come on whenever I turn the windshield wipers on, and I like that. Uh, key off power delay. So what that means is that if you're like me right now, I'm sitting here waiting for my wife to get out of an appointment. Once, once I turn the car off, the car's power will stay active for 10 minutes until a door is opened. So like the, uh, the radio stays on, the windows will work, all that stuff, and the options are off. 45 seconds, five minutes, and 10 minutes. So I have it set for 10 minutes. And then uh, illumination approach is 90 seconds. So what that means is when you unlock the car doors and you're walking up to the car, it will, uh, the headlights will stay on for, I think this is 90 seconds, right? Yeah, the headlights will stay on for 90 seconds until you get to the car and get in it, and then of course once you start it, if it's nighttime, the headlights will stay on, but, um, let's see other options. Display in units, you got US or metric. Compass variance, I'm not sure what that's for. Uh, I don't do much with the compass. You calibrate the compass and that's it. And then um, it's currently 75 degrees and it shows what radio station I'm using right now. Um, See, I can reset my mile per gallon, and then now it goes to 23.1, and it'll start reading again to set 165 miles until empty, and I have just under a half tank right now, and that's it. But yeah, I just wanted to go through and show uh, well, the, the system warnings says that I need to change my oil and there's the TPM system, TPMS system. Um, my back right tire is a little low. It's supposed to be about 40 so two right tires could use some air. And that's it. Like I said I just wanted to shoot a quick video for that stuff. Um, oh yeah this car oddly enough analog clock too. And what's really cool about it is the analog clock holds the time right. And for some reason that digital clock loses time. It's slow. So like right now it says 11.25. It's 11.24. Um, I, I reset the clock about, I don't know, a month ago. And I made it three minutes fast. Um, because I look at that clock a lot on my way to work. And... You know, so I like for it to be early or show that I'm getting there earlier than I, or later than I really am. That way, if I'm running late, I'm not as late as I think I am. But that clock loses time. It's weird. The analog clock does just fine. The digital clock loses time. But yeah, that's it. I just wanted to do a little update. Uh, this, I've had this car, like I said, three and a half years, and they have. 214,643 miles on it. It's been a pretty decent car. The only thing I've really had to um, replace on it, well, actually, I've had to replace a lot on it. Um, new radiator, uh, water pump, um, let's see, obviously, like brake pads and stuff. I had to replace both of the rear calipers. Uh, both of the rear rotors, um, ball joint in the front right, uh, I need to get a new window switch because the back right window doesn't work. I actually unplugged the motor because the motor works, the window works, but one of the buttons, either the button in the door over there or the button, the main button here in my door 
you can roll the window down, but you can't roll the window back up. Um, but the motor does work to roll the window back up because I actually took um, my uh, 18 volt drill battery and connected a couple wires to some of the, the contacts on it, plugged them into the, um, the motor for uh, just long enough to get the window to roll back up and yeah, it's up and it's it's been up and I keep forgetting that I need to order the switch because nobody really uses that window. Um, so it's just been up for like the last year because I, I just keep forgetting to order the window switch. Uh, maybe I'll remember to do that next pay period. But yeah, that's it YouTube. Just a you know quick little video on uh, some things you may not know about your 2008 Chrysler Sebring. Have a good day, and again, if you like this content, like, share, and subscribe.